Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and for today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how I'm going to treat my hair at home and how I usually blow dry my hair after washing. So after getting my hair done, I've only washed my hair once. So this is going to be the second time washing it. And as you can see, like it's kind of dirty and I'm just brushing it out before I put in the treatment. So my hairstylist Tiffany Blue suggested for me to use Olaplex in number three and this is their home treatment. As you can see, this is my first time using it. It's still new and this is really easy to use. There's directions in the back of the bottle. And really though, the application for this is very easy. All you have to do is apply a generous amount on your hands on blow dried hair or dry hair and I started on my roots and then working my way down to the ends. So it's really gonna depend how damaged your hair is. I did apply some on my roots just because we did highlight or lighten that part of my hair. If not, I would have just put it on my ends. And then after you apply to where it needs to be, go ahead and brush it out and you wanna do this just once. And then after you brush it out, you're supposed to wait 10 minutes, but I waited for about 30 to 40 minutes. So I decided to just tie it up and watch a TV show or something. And it said like the longer you leave it in there, the better it's going to work for you. So this is me after showering and let me show you what I'm going to be using to blow dry and style my hair. So I have this GHD Rose Gold Blow Dryer and then I'm going to use this Moroccan oil for my ends and some roller clips. So here I'm just trying to make sure that I wring out the excess water in my hair. So you want to scrub the towel on your scalp and the ends. Just trying to make sure that my hair is not soaking wet because when I do blow dry it, I don't want to take forever drying my hair. So I usually dry my scalp first because if I start on the ends, my ends will be so fried. So I make sure that the scalp is pretty much 100% dry. And usually by the time I'm done drying my scalp, the ends of my hair is pretty much like 75% dry. And when your hair is damaged, make sure you don't brush your hair when it's wet because it's really delicate when it's wet. So you don't want to end up with like split ends or any breakage on your ends. And this is where the Moroccan oil comes in. And make sure before applying this on your ends that your ends are pretty much 85 to 90% dry because if it's too wet, it won't work. And if it's too dry, it's just gonna soak it up and it smells so good. So now I'm just reattaching the nozzle and I'm gonna use an inch and a half round brush for my hair. And as you can see, I'm just doing like big sections. And an easy trick and tip for you guys with long hair, when you blow dry long hair, make sure pretty much is dry. I know it sounds crazy, but it works. It's really easy and really fast when your hair is pretty much dry. You're not spending too much time on the scalp. Like I showed you earlier, I blow dried my hair or my scalp separately without the brush. As you can see, I'm focusing on my ends to the mid shaft and I'm rolling my hair away from my face. So if you have a curling iron that you're using, you usually curl your hair going away from your face. So same thing with this. And by the way, I have the blow dryer on the lowest setting just because I don't need any more heat damage. And I spent about 10 to 20 seconds of rolling my hair like this back and forth and swaying the blow dryer like this will distribute heat evenly. And then when I finally know I have that curl in there, I take my roller brush and roll it the other way to let go of that piece of hair. And then since the hair is still kind of hot or warm, I like to pin it up. So I just roll it back up like in a curl like this and just use one of those metal prongs. You could do a big one. This one's a small one. These are actually for the rollers. You can find them at Sally Beauty or any beauty supply store. So you're pretty much just going to repeat all the steps that I showed you earlier. And same thing when you're unrolling the brush from your hair, make sure you want to do it the opposite way. And 
it's okay to start on the ends to the mid shaft only if you have longer hair. But if you have short hair, you can definitely roll your hair all the way up. And then as you can see here, this is the top layer of my hair. So it's a bit shorter than the length. That's why I was able to go all the way up. And like here, it kind of got stuck. So it's okay for you to just pull it out like that. And then look at that curl, so pretty. And then, you know, just pin it up, roll it up, whatever you want to call it. And then from here, you can set it some more by spraying hairspray, whatever hairspray you want. And then the hair on top of my head, I usually like to blow dry that backwards, as you can see. And I like to get really close to the scalp for some volume and lift. So now that we're done setting, this actually took me about 30 to 40 minutes without talking and, you know, getting up. And then I just like to chill with this for about 10 to 15 minutes just so I know everything's cooled down. And then finally, we're going to remove all the pins and I like to start from the bottom and work my way up. And look at those waves. So pretty. I love doing this. Oh my gosh. And then you can actually leave it like this if you want more of a defined curl, but you can also run your fingers through it. But for me personally, I like to brush it all out. So I'm going to use a brush to brush it all out and then do some teasing and things like that for extra volume. But it looks so good. All right. So now, you know, if my hair is blow dried like this, then I just washed it. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys liked it and I hope you guys learned something. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and give this video a thumbs up if you want to see more videos like this one. And I will see you guys next time. Bye guys. Mwah.